Hello friends, buying a house is an investment for the future and several elements like location, budget, security, convenience, amenities and maintenance costs are taken into consideration. Further, the decision regarding what kind of home one buys is largely based on one's stage in life and what one is looking to gain from that home. Should I buy an apartment in a township that has a wide array of amenities or is it better to go for a standalone building? Let us discuss it in this video. Concept Townships has a large number of residences in the form of apartments and villas along with high-end amenities like schools, hospitals, all kinds of stores, recreation facilities and in some cases integrated agricultural land. On the other hand, solo or standalone buildings are structurally and physically independent from other structures. A solo building is also the only structure on the site that has individual electrical, sewerage and water supply systems. Amenities In a township, there is a wide range of facilities within an enclosed area. All types of amenities such as clubhouse, gymnasium, play areas for kids, sports facilities, gardens, commercial shops, shopping centers, hospitals, movie theaters, clinics, schools, colleges, malls and utilities like saloons, banks, ATMs and schools. Townships will also have extensive roads, walkways and large parking facilities. Social functions can be arranged easily in the community hall in an apartment complex. On the other hand, a solo building does not have facilities within it and mainly depends upon the distance from the building to the facility. For example, a house in a specific neighborhood can be close to schools, hospitals, shops, etc. But in this case, these are open to the entire public and not just the residents of that area. Owners of standalone buildings have to look for the closest garden or explore the membership of a sports club which adds extra cost and time. Services Townships have integrated services like water supply, water treatment, sewage system, electricity, piped gas, backup generators, and HVAC facilities will all be managed on site and distributed to each of the houses, shops and facilities on a metered basis and managed by the maintenance crew of the township. To each house, shop or space in the township, these services will be provided and a monthly fixed maintenance fee will be charged to all the occupants. Whereas a solo building gets its line of water supply, drainage, electricity, gas, etc. which the occupant will pay for depending upon usage. These services connect to the main municipal line. Security Townships offer free and secure living. Townships will have a state-of-the-art security systems like CCTVs, alarms, sprinklers, and smoke detectors are pre-installed into different areas. Along with these, the townships reside inside a compound wall and will have a monitored entry and exits of all occupants and visitors. The chances of robbery, burglary and theft are reduced to a minimum and it is made sure that every house, shop and all the people are protected. Townships also employ security guards for additional safety. In case of solo buildings, security may be a cause of concern even when there is a guard. CCTV cameras do not exist or are defunct. Security staff are overworked and thereby ineffective. Accessibility In townships, while residents have full accessibility to the facilities inside, but it is unavailable to the general public. Private hospitals and schools enable segregation and withhold facilities to outsiders. 
However, the townships are extremely convenient for their occupants since they have all the amenities a stone's throw away. On the other hand, solo buildings have accessibility to facilities depending upon their location. If the facilities are located in a neighborhood close to commercial areas, then occupants can easily access them since it is located in a public space. Price A flat in a township carries a premium price due to the facilities available. Property prices in a township are priced 10 to 40% higher than standalone buildings. These flats also offer better rent as compared to a standalone building. Whereas solo building flats are highly affordable due to lack of facilities and much more suitable option for bachelors and home owners with limited financial resources. Distance from city Townships are typically located on the outskirts of a major city as the land required for such a development is unlikely to be available within the city. And if available, it's too expensive to be commercially viable. Hence, commuting will be difficult when traveling to and from business districts within the city for work. This often can be a cause of immense stress and frustration. On the other hand, owing to the smaller land area needed, Standalone buildings are constructed within city limits and public transport tends to be more easily accessible thereby making commuting easier and shorter. Maintenance cost Due to the loading of entire amenities, maintenance charges in township are 10 to 40% higher than standalone buildings. Whereas standalone buildings have lower maintenance cost. Social interaction Township has a spacious social spaces like clubhouse, games room, garden and community halls where you regularly meet and interact with other like-minded residents. This creates and cultivates a healthy bond among members of a society. On the other hand, standalone buildings have fewer amenities hence social interaction is somewhat limited. Parking In case of township, ample parking space is usually available, especially for families that own multiple four-wheelers and two-wheelers. Whereas in case of standalone building, few parking slots are available. Pollution As generally townships are located outside the city, hence the pollution level is low. Whereas Standalone buildings are generally in the city or closer to city, hence the pollution level is comparatively more. Construction quality A flat in a township ensures the quality of work. Whereas in case of standalone building, the credentials and quality of work of the developer may be questionable. Preference Townships are usually preferred by families. On the other hand, standalone buildings are usually preferred by bachelors and students. So friends, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.